The prophecy spoke about a young boy, a boy who believed in himself and his music. It was only with him that the tale of the untold could be revealed. Many centuries ago, there were seven lords of music. Together, they decided to compose the unparalleled Book of Music. The idea of the book was to catalog every dissertation of creating music that would appeal to humankind of the future ages. It didn't take time for one of the lords to get engulfed in greed for power and supreme control over the Book of Music. Blinded by his greed and hunger of power, the evil lord attempts to suppress and enslave the other lords by trapping them inside the book with a malicious spell and thereby tries to gain complete control over the book. But, as fate would have it, a part of the curse is rebound toward the evil lord. The evil lord is then turned to dust, only to disappear forever and ever, while the book loses many verses and contents. In an attempt to safeguard the book from the clutches of foul hands, the noble lords cast a last breath spell on the book. The young noble one, the musician, to thou shall the book unveil its powers and essence. This pure soul shall write the remaining ten missing verses of this magical book by unlocking each verse with ten musical performances of the highest caliber. You will never be able to be a great musician. You are no good and music is not your cup of tea," says a hard-hearted teacher to a young, shy boy. The boy is Rishab, a young musician with aspiring dreams. Without a single word, the boy leaves the classroom only to never return. The desolate Rishab comes across his best friend and colleague, Prayag, who has been a believer of Rishab's talent. As the duo walk the most silent of alleys, a glint of light appears far out and they find a book covered in dust. The young Prayag decides to gift this lucky find to his friend Rishab. Years pass by as both of them try to find the contents of the book, but all that is left are empty and missing pages. One silent day, as Rishab glances through the book alone in an already isolated library, a magical apparition is emitted from the book. The magical figure calms down the shocked Rishab and introduces himself as one of the noble lords named Makazi, who has been trapped in the book for years in wait for a virtuous musician. Pledging his allegiance to be his well-wisher and guide throughout the mission, Makazi explains the prophecy. My dear Rishab, you are extraordinary, more than you can imagine. You are the chosen one. What you hold is the book of music that we, the seven great gods of music, try to compose. As the story is revealed and speaks of itself, many verses and pages of the book are missing and need to be completed. You now possess the responsibility of completing this book. However, you will have to deliver a series of magical mastered musical performances at special places. Only after that shall each verse of the book appear and be completed. The location of each performance will be on a master map. Follow it and embark on a mission and oblige to a prophecy so pure it leads to humanity to change the world of music. 
Rishab set forth to complete this miraculous quest and complete the Book of Music by finding the lost verses. And thus began the lost story.